animating spirit of this was that this is a club for musicians. Yeah. It's not a club for the audience. And it's a place which gives musicians a place to try their music and to try interacting with each other. Yeah. And if the audience doesn't like it, it's too bad. <laughs> because it's a place for experimentation. And okay. all experiments don't work. Absolutely. And so we would just toss elements into the mix. And if they didn't work, too bad, you know. Absolutely. We had a neighbor in Panchil right. who ran a somewhat decrepit um, outdoor restaurant called very simply the farmhouse, which was under the shadow of the Kutub Minar. Yes. <laughs> so, as you can see, this was all very seat of the pants, all very reactive. So, the next morning, um, I lived across the road, got into the car, went there, and I said, Dippy, I have a proposition for you. He said, what? I said, I have this club, and we need to find a place. I don't want any commercials, no nothing. It's very simple. We will set up the music, we will bring the guests, you sell the food and beer. No transaction between us. Because it was a not registered organization, everything, it was just cash, etc., etc., etc. He said, done. And that's where Friends of Music just mushroomed. And uh, then we introduced a third element, which was that we would, let, we would pass the word around that these two acts, and once these are over, then we'll have a jam. And any musician who wants to join that jam should just register beforehand. And it was so democratic. Unknown musicians would come, and Sushmit, and Rahul, and Val, and um, Steve Sequeira. Do you know oh, Steve? Wow. Yes, of course. They would jam with these people. Yeah. Imagine Steve Seguera on the drums, <laughs> backing you up. It's, uh, it was completely <laughs> democratic and these people played with them. Yeah. And you know, I, I don't think there was, any, um, there was any ego or big band stuff involved. It was just purely, and, and that's what came across. No, It was like a wave which was palpable. It was, it was the love for music that was... Sort of, you know, spread around. Advaita did their first show at, uh, at Friends of Music. Mrikya was literally formed. Mrikya was formed at Friends of Music. And Indian Ocean did the, actually their second ever live show in Delhi. At Friends of Music. At my sister's house. That yes, first club that evening. That first one, yes. Yeah. This was before the Sehmat concert at Delhi. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 And, I mean, in fact, at, for a while, Teamwork managed... Uh, Indian Ocean. Oh, I see. Okay. And uh, the idea that the Sehmet concert should become an album yeah. was born in the teamwork office. Oh, wow. Okay. And they couldn't find anybody to back it. And then Sushmit, who had been a salesman at HMV, yes. found this chap called, I think his name was Naresh Malhotra, right. who ran a distribution of cassettes out of Palika Bazaar. <laughs> He agreed to become the yeah. publisher of that uh, album. Absolutely. And uh, so I just want to say one thing, which was the animating spirit. The animating spirit of this was that this is a club for musicians. Yeah. It's not a club for the audience. And it's a place which gives musicians a place to try their music and to try interacting with each other. Yeah. And if the audience doesn't like it, it's too bad. <laughs> because it's a place for experimentation. And okay. all experiments don't work. Absolutely. And so we would just toss elements into the mix. And if they didn't work, too bad, you know. Absolutely.